Happy Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day, I want to make the wife something. Just uh, showed off 3D printing. She's got a bunch of toys laying around that I've printed. But why not use 3D printing to create something unique that she can probably display? We're going to cover how to clean up these models, how to put them together, the tools used. I'm going to make this a nice short five minute video because I was just recording. And I had a power outage, and this camera wasn't on the UPS for some reason at times. This model is the Rose with Stem by TCFEA. Uh, also used a couple of models that uh, is Jason Barr. I'll put the links in the description along with the materials used. We used an off-brand TPU for this. It's garbage because it wound up being somewhere between 1.7 and 1.1 millimeters in diameter. 1.1 doesn't push very well through an extruder. And some other extrusion in there, you can see it in the, in the base of the model. This was thing two from Jason. This is thing one. And these are the rows with petals. No, nope, rows with stem. Filing. We used I think this is the, the, the junk there. This is a neon yellow from Yogi. And this is a pink. This pink is a neon pink from Saint Smart. There's real good luck with Yogi and Saint Smart. And Prilene is a little bit different. Uh, it's not quite as flexible. And it's a different different material, but it's still you know, different additives and color, etc. What we did was I took this rose with stem, wanted it to stand up. So the first thing I did was look for an interesting little model and wanted it to stand up, but nope, a little too flexible. I, I took added a cone to the base of it. So print, pull that flower up. No luck because we're printing this in this direction. As soon as it got up to here, <laughs> even with Z-Hop on, it bounced all over and created that, this nightmare. Tried it one more time with the Prilene, but again, it's still just a little too flexible. I really don't like that uh, those layer lines, so I stopped this particular print. Before I put the cone in it, I made it a little bit bigger for this one. Way too flexible. Very cool though. Way too flexible. Uh, I pulled this off a of Thingiverse. This is Jason's organic thing too, made up in uh, ZBrush. Took the stem, put it through the model, resized the model so the proportions looked right. Uh, shrunk it down, widened the base, took the stem out to 105% and subtracted it from this base. So that way I've got a nice, easy hole for it to stand in. Works pretty well. Voronizing's easy mesh mixer. What Voronizing is, is it takes, you apply a pattern to it. The mesh mixer is under edit and patterns. And it takes each one of the lines and make up the mesh, turns them into tubes and opens it up. And you can see it gives you a really unique pattern. So to make this rose, I had to reduce the mesh probably four or five times to retain the details, the overall details and shape, but still get the mesh big enough. The mesh based uh, in, the, in the stem here, I did not, I only went two or three times with that. So. It's, got, it's only got a few holes in it, but it kind of gives it a unique flower-like texture, I think. Uh, you know, very, very organic. Join them together. We use our 3D pen to clean up the mesh. You can play with your retraction and your heat settings until you're purple or until the cows come home. Um, but I'd much rather have stringing and enough extrusion than no stringing and under extrusion. So got them set in the middle and it all changes in between different manufacturers and 
even within the same manufacturer, you'll find your temperature settings change and your traction settings change when you're dealing with something sticky like this in a TPU. If we've got one that I haven't cleaned up yet, I'm still working on cleaning these up, but you can see the magic of using a heat gun. This heat gun is this, oh, it's my soldering station, 8786 Delta. Um, it's my soldering station for surface mounted components, but this tip looks fantastic. Set it at 340 degrees, and then the strings just melt away, disappear, because it's the same color, they just melt right back down, it's a great way to repair models, great way to change the shape of a model, you have to be careful that you don't overheat it, but it's generally not a problem, and the strings just melt right back down. No snipping, no nipping, no cutting. Very easy post process processing. Magic. Surface mount Saturn station. It's a hot air gun. You can use it for a lot of other things too. Uh the trank. But it's great for cleaning up models. And then to join the roses to the body, you can see that I've tacked a couple of them on here already, and you can see, we can see the little green dots right there, where I've tacked it on, I'll run a bead of plastic around there, but all we did was fire up our 3D pen, if you don't have one, get one, these things are fantastic, the ones I use are down below, uh, for fixing models, adding mounts to control boxes, adjusting models, when you drill a hole in the wrong place and you need to, you need to <laughs> change the location of a switch or something. They're great. A little awkward to use at first. Extrude, retract. This is your speed control here. At your temperature setting for the TPU, I just set it to the ABS setting. Give it a nice extrusion. It comes with this goofy little stand. Let's see. Yeah, it comes with this goofy little stand. It's pretty worthless until you attach it to a cutting board, like I did here. And then it stands up on the bench very conveniently. Very proudly. I join these models together. All I have to do is take and clean up my tip a bit and just extrude some plastic. In this case, it's not plastic, it's a TPU, into that joint. I'm going to take and run a bead of it around here. I think I'll, I'll do this in this emerald green. I really like that emerald green. It makes a, makes a good plant look. This neon green is all right from a plant look standpoint. But yeah, I think I like the emerald green a little bit better. But... That's how you do it. Mesh mixer, boronizing, very easy. Apply a pattern to the mesh. <coughs> Excuse me. Join the models together with a uh, 3D pen. Clean up the models with a surface mounted component soldering station. Not cheap, but well worth it. Well worth the time. I mean, I've got it here for soldering, but I found that from a heat gun standpoint, it's it's indispensable on cleaning uh, PLA or PLA plus. You say on PLA or PLA plus or ABS, you can you can heat it up slightly and it will return back to a shiny finish. Very, very easy way to post process. Make those strings just go away, and there'd be no other way to reach down in the bottle to get rid of strings, but the hot air sure does it. Cleans them up rather nicely. Opens up the holes. So I'll process these. Wife will probably be happy. Flowers won't die. Little we'll stand. I've got to clean the stands up, but I think that'll work out. Yeah, I think that'll work out very nicely. It's a very unique gift. Very uh, good example of what you can do with 3D printing. These were printed very coarsely with a 0.6 nozzle. 
I'm sorry, with a point, 1.0 nozzle at 0.6 layer height. It only took an hour and a half, I think, a piece to print them on. It's our TPU. I think that's yo yo pink. This is uh, St. Smart's green, neon green, St. Smart's emerald green. This red, I think these actually are two different reds. One of these was was this crappy material that I'm trying to use up only because it's, it's it doesn't have constant diameters on the production their uh, quality control is was garbage but they're out of business so I think she'll really enjoy it makes a heck out of regular flowers they're gonna die in a day or two a really neat texture let's change this light I think this light needs to go to this Magnifying lenses, desk lamps, lighted, lighted magnifying lens. I'll put a link below. I, I've got them all over on all the workbenches. Because I'm turning it into an old blind guy. Well, I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. If you have any questions about vornizing or, or uh, materials used or that, look in the links below or leave me a comment. I'll be happy to reply. See if I can help you out. Have a great weekend. Oh, Grab a quick model and sketch up for my scrapers just to make a cover for it because the cover kept falling off. And that's the first uh, first print of it. Looks good. Never ceases to amaze me the functionality of 3D printing and the things that you can make, the problems that you can solve. It's amazing.